So, Michael, here in old Super Sedan? Yeah, mate. Um, it was uh, built by Steve Stewart in 1984. Um, he ran it very successfully, uh, won four state champions in it and many other titles in the car before he on sold it to uh, Rocky Caruso. Uh, in the Crusoe family, um, and they ran that car, this car, uh, for many, many years. They used to call it the, the Jurassic Classic, um, and he was also very successful in it. Then the car sort of got lost a little bit, and then um, a, a bloke by the name of Peter Drew, uh, who used to race Super Sedan successfully in the 80s and the 90s, found the car and basically gave it a full resto. So the car is concourse, it's, it even runs the original springs in the car. So that's pretty cool, yeah. So it's back to uh, how Steve and Wendy Stewart had the car. Yeah, right. In, in the uh, mid late 80s. Yeah, right. So you're just sort of yeah, having a bit of a play in it today? Um, unfortunately, we lost um, Peter Drew about uh, probably about 10 weeks ago now. He um, he passed away with, with lung cancer and stuff, and he was sick for a few years. So um, I've been very lucky that um, he's, he's gifted me the car as long as I keep running it. So a um, bit weird today. This is the first time we've brought the car out since Peter passed away and, and since he got sick and he couldn't come and we couldn't really bring ourselves to bring the car out while he was still alive um, but I promised him that we would still do that so uh, so today was its first run since Peter passed away yeah so it's a little bit weird people might think it's a bit creepy but I got him strapped in this down by the roll cage there so um, and just looking for another spin around Murray Bridge because the last time he drove the car was here so. yeah right so how does it feel driving this compared to other stuff that you've driven? Um, I drove um, current soup sedans for, for many years, um, right up to their current form. Um, this surprisingly is very, very good. I don't know if it's good because of the nostalgia of it, and the guy I drove for in soup sedans was Steve Stewart, so it's his car. So, or... I, I don't know. Like, the car is really cool to drive. It's, it's better than you could ever imagine. For 1984 um, yeah it goes good uh, we've got a, another engine package to put in it sort of let it give it a little bit more at the moment I've got to keep it under six grand otherwise it starts pumping the push rods out of it so um, it probably go a little bit faster when we when we give another a fresh uh, Peter was building a fresh engine for it when he passed away and, and we finished it for him so yeah because right. um, I don't know about you but to me this is like the golden era of super sedans like this is when they looked yeah. cool like not sort of well this car won steve stewart in 1985 27 thousand dollars for the season so um back then this was super sedan racing i know now they're they're faster and they've got more engine and and they've got some wicked technology in them but this is what super sedans were built on yeah um it's cool to have this car saved um, we're currently in the process of building a, another Steve Stewart car that came out from America that Steve Francis and um, Bloomer ran when they came and did match racing in Australia. So uh, a guy called Peter Lowe's got that car and we're sort of in the middle of a resto on that. Um, and that's going to come up trick. We're putting it back to how Steve Stewart had it when he first bought the car from the Americans. Um, and we've actually got a, an Ian Gabby Marshall car, uh, a Queensland number two car, sort of. Peter was also right in the middle of um, restoring that car uh, when he passed away. So we, we're going to finish that car in his honour as well. And then Gabby Marshall from Queensland is also like one of the 1980 90, uh, and 90 champions of the past. But yeah, it's pretty cool to have it out here. And um, this is a bit of a special day. Peter's sister came and watched and things like that. So um, hopefully we get to run it some more. It depends on my obligations with the sprint car and stuff. But um, hopefully we get it here some more and, and uh, get showed off. Yeah, yeah definitely. No, it looks it looks and sounds great out on track. Yeah. I, oh, no, it's love, pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. I love watching. Love yeah, this yeah, it's stuff, pretty so. cool. Um, he used to say to me, like, make sure you drive it as fast as you can, but don't hit the fence. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll give it a go. But no, it's pretty cool for, for the era it was. Um, it's an amazing car, amazing car. A lot of time and thought went into it. Like They used to design and build these things on drawings on their floors. Yeah. So. Um, and, yeah. The, and like owner driver like built these things too. Like, when Absolutely, just, yeah. yeah. When it just bought you off know, the shelf. Sort Steve of stuff, Stewart yeah. welded this car up in his garage. Yeah. So uh, that's pretty cool. Where the last car he owned, he, we bought it. Yeah. We purchased it from a manufacturer. So, um, you know, it would be great to have that car out here still, but, uh, you know, that's how it is. But, um, yeah, no, this thing's awesome. Um, the classics, the, the, the old snoozers that run them, they put a huge effort into it, yeah. and people actually do not recognise the effort it takes to keep one of these old girls going. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's amazing. All right, cheers, Michael. Thank we'll you very we'll much. We'll see you around, man. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, thank you very much. Cheers, man. Thank you very much. No, anytime. Much